Hello and welcome to Dabbling in Journals. What I thought I'd do today is a little flip through of some pages I'm decorating in my celebrations insert. I keep that insert in my Traveller's Notebook from Traveller's Company Japan in the regular size in the camel colour. It's very beautiful. I love it. <laughs> and I will open it up and show you what I've been doing. So here, this is my celebrations insert and I have my gratitude journal in the front. And our family has been celebrating seasonal festivals this year for the first time, which we're really enjoying. And one of the things that I've been using for inspiration is this diary, the Earth Pathways Diary 2021. It says, inspiring our connection to the land. This is the first time I've purchased this diary and I'm really enjoying it. I'm not actually using it as if it, with, for its intended purpose as a diary because I have my planner insert in a traveller's notebook. But what I am doing is using it for inspiration, information, ideas and so on. And what I really like, one of the things I really like about it is all the beautiful illustrations, some of which are photographs, that looks like another photograph. Then we've got drawings, beautiful watercolour it looks like to me. Another completely different art style. And the reason the images are all so different is because there's lots of different contributors. And they're all listed in the back, all the different artists that have contributed something to this diary. And there's information about what you need to do if you would like to contribute something to this diary. And I just think it's lovely. So I've been using that and I'll show you how I've been using that. So if I go straight to our page for yesterday's celebration, we were celebrating Beltane and this festival is a fire festival. It's held on the 1st of May, which in the UK is a bank holiday. We call it May Day. And so I've done some research about that festival here and I chose this image from my diary, took the page out, cut it out, stuck it in. And I really liked this image because it's of a maypole. And when I was a little girl, we used to dance around the maypole at school on May Day. And I think it's really sad that they don't, I don't seem to have continued that tradition. Well, at least not where I live, maybe where you live, that still goes on. That would be lovely. And so I used to really enjoy that. You dance around and the ribbons all weave patterns and then you dance back the other way and the patterns all undo. So that's why I chose that one as my sort of first page of our May Day celebration. And this little sticker of a girl's head, of course, because it's my journal and I always put girl's heads everywhere I can. I've used some washi tape and I've distressed around the edges with some... Distress Ink, this is the colour Peacock Feathers, this sort of blue colour, and I've just distressed around the edges with my Jibba Dabba Dabba tool thingy. <laughs> okay, so on the next page, what I was doing here was making a note of some of the traditions of Beltane. And I discovered, for example, that the, the I don't know if I'm pronouncing Beltane correctly, by the way, but I discovered it comes from the Celtic god Bel, which means bright one, and the Gaelic word tame, which means fire. So it's bright one and fire. It's the fire festival. So one of the things that I found in my diary was this everyday ritual, which says, seek out the delight of physical tiredness, walk, work in the garden, dance, run, whatever makes you feel your body working, whatever your physical limits. Even if standing or raising your heart hands is as much as you can do, Move your body, feel it stretch and sweat, feel how amazing it is. And I thought it was really nice to sort of reflect on and appreciate your body and caring for your health. And I chose this image of bluebells because when we went out for our walk with our dog, she goes more for a run than a walk, to be fair, we saw lots of bluebells. And I really enjoyed seeing those first little glimpse of bright coloured flowers, which suggests that summer will be on its way. So I'm just going to journal just very briefly about that walk here. This page I've left blank because I haven't finished my research and I want to do some research on symbols. I'm quite interested in symbols at the moment for some reason. So I wanted to see what sort of symbols are associated with the May Day Fire Festival. On this page, I've gone all shabby chic, really proud of this. <laughs> oh, I forgot to say, on that page, I used this ribbon, which I've just got sticking out the side because I thought it looked really pretty in my journal to have some ribbon and some lace. 
And I also forgot to mention that I used Distress Ink Peel Paint around the edges along with my washi tape. So on this page, I've gone a bit more shabby chic. I have Distress around the edges, but the colour, which was Tattered Rose, really hardly shows at all. But never mind it's still i can still see it a little bit and on this page i just documented the tarot card spread that i did for beltane and that spread asked you to randomly select five cards one to focus on safety what do you need to feel safe where are you secure in yourself the second card to reflect on abundance what feelings of plenty do you experience the third card was regeneration. What do you need to do to grow and flourish? I really like that one. Then love. Reflect on the love in your life. That's a really nice thing to reflect about. And then the future. What story do the cards talk about? The, what choices may affect your future? So I really like that spread. And I'll just show you the cards I picked. Because I use this deck of cards which are all faith cards and these are beautiful tarot cards they're illustrated by an English watercolor painter and the guidebook was written by an American so a nice collaboration there and I just think these watercolor paintings of these Fay are really really beautiful and very clever in my opinion because she's really good at making you feel emotion or, or conveying emotion through the facial features of her characters and so that was the first card I picked. And then there was that one, also beautiful, with an owl, very otherworldly. And that one, the Page of Pentacles. And then this beautiful fox, I love foxes. And then this Hierophant, who looks so wise and calm and elderly. So I just think that her technique and all the detail to be able to do that with watercolour. I wish I could do that so it's inspiring me and I'm going to try and practice and see whether or not I can produce some watercolour paintings inspired by these. But in addition I will be doing my tarot reflection so I will be looking at each of the cards I picked and looking in the guidebook and I will journal about that in my tarot journal but I will write a little sort of I don't know, summary or pick one thing that I particularly want to focus on and make a note of it here. I've got this little card which came from a subscription box that I can't remember the name of. Oh, hang on. Planner Society. It was a Planner Society. I subscribed to them a few years ago and I've still got a few bits in my stash and it says you are the creator of your own destiny which I thought was really nice and goes with the idea of reflecting about choices that you make that affect your future. Sometimes you make good ones, sometimes not so good. So that's interesting. Just put a little bit of washi, some pretty little stickers, and then I stuck this piece of lace, just sort of slightly overhanging the page so that I thought that would look so pretty sticking out of my journal. And then on this page, I'm going to actually reflect on our fire festival that we had. So, or not reflect on, more sort of journal about, um, explain what we did. I've got a picture of our fire here that we had in the garden. And one of the suggestions that is made in the diary is this. If you could harness the glowing power of the Beltane fire, what would you do with that limitless energy? What might burst forth? How will you find and make positive use of this season's strength and warmth? And we all shared our ideas and had lots of fun and laughter, <laughs> mostly laughing at each other, you know, regarding the ideas that we came up with. So I will journal about that in here. Then on this page, one of the things that we did yesterday was that the girls all made flower crowns. So we got wire, twisted the wire around and then hot glued some flowers to our flower crowns so that we could wear those for our celebration day. So that was really fun. They were really pretty. And yeah, I've just got some photographs there and I shall journal about doing that, which was really good. And the quotation that I chose for this page says, changes everywhere, all is growing, moving, becoming, leaves unfurl, flowers open, bare soil is covered with green, change is constant throughout the seasons and never more so than at the fertile festival of Beltane. I accept that change can be beautiful, 
embrace the possibilities it brings. So I really liked that reflection. And I've just put a little flap here, so I'm going to put another photograph. I'm going to print it. I just needed to put some more printer paper in my printer. And I've got another photograph that I want to pop under there. And then I've left a whole page here to journal about the film we have making our flower crowns. And then this is my last page so far. Yeah, my last page so far. These are the celebration cakes we had yesterday. So we were very, very lucky <laughs> to have so many cakes. I can't remember the last time that I had cake. So I was really spoiled yesterday. <laughs> but one of our little twins loves baking. She's only 10, but she does an amazing job of baking cakes. I don't know how she does it. So for example, here she made a traditional honey cake. So that's a traditional sort of Celtic recipe well according to folklore who knows whether or not it really is and she made that cake she decorated it beautifully I've done a slightly more close-up photograph there of all the little flowers she colored all the icing and she cut out all the flowers and she arranged them on the cake with all the little cherries and such like thought they were really beautiful and then this was very ingenious so here they've made some brownies chocolate brownies and they wanted them to look like little bonfires so they've used matchmaker chocolates I don't know if you know what they are but they're like little chocolate sticks uh, to make the wood and then they've done the flames here by taking a boiled sweet putting it between two sheets of baking parchment and melting it with hair straighteners <laughs> I think she did have some help <laughs> with that because she is only 10 and we wouldn't let her play with hair straighteners but wow they looked amazing I've never seen anything like it and these were my favorite in terms of actually eating the cakes because these were rose cakes and they're little fairy cakes sponge cakes and they had a spoonful of jam and then there's whipped mascarpone cream and cream on the top and little frosted rose petals and they were absolutely delicious so i hope you've enjoyed having a little look at the pages that i've decorated ready for my journaling about our celebration yesterday we had a lovely time i hope you've been having a lovely time thank you so much for watching bye